really thick tires on this, so you really got to lean into the turn. Okay. This thing is weird. I can't turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, that thing freaking whips. All right, so we made it to the Electrify <laughs> Expo. I mean, I'm, I'm not. And we're about to check in. I'll get you another tablet. All right, we're here. Now to get some B-roll. And look what we got here. Backup mic, Mr. E. What's going on, Mike? Up, How are you? How you been? Long time no yeah. See. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, man. This guy. Oh! <laughs> I made it. How are you? <laughs> it's been a while. When, when it's been a we, while. Uh, what are we eating you seeing? Oh, I'm, I'm ready whenever, but I can't keep up with you. Oh, stop. I won't go fast. Don't worry about it. Okay. If anything, I'll bring the king song. Nice. Nice to see you. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Am I really going to walk around with a helmet all day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's, where's Rick Cardero? Oh yeah, he's supposed to be here. He's think, here right? somewhere. Run playback, right? Yeah. I might try out the new uh, Onyx bike. Oh, the the lasers or yeah, whatever they are. The lasers. LZRs, yeah. whatever. There's my bike. In the city. Yeah, you could test ride test ride one here. I know. Right? <laughs> I don't have to use your battery. Yeah. Dang. Whoa, what is this? Look at this. I'm hoping this one's gonna come to the city and race us tonight. Alright guys, so we are out here at the Electrify Expo, New York in Long Island. It is hot. 80 degrees. I'm dying right now. This is big. It goes all around. Oh, there's a bunch of people to eat. I see uh, bandits. Spark cycles. Here's Spark Cycle Works. This is where all the S3 crew is hanging out. Like yo, yo, yo! What's going on, bro? Oh, bro. How are you? Let's go. How are you? Oh, yeah, so man. I'd like your helmet. Thank you. Oh, it's like that, that Onyx. Dude, love it. I love saw it. your video. You say, oh my god, I never went that fast before. <laughs> oh, you had me cracking up. Bro, you was doing 50 something, 51 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. That, that's you was on the highway? E Rock Rods. There you go, follow my boy. How you doing, man? How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, no, the e roys are sick. They're big. I didn't think they'd be that big. This one's a little smaller. These are cool. American Micro Car Company. I'm gonna join this raffle. I'm sure a lot of people think these are weird, but I think they're cool. These uh, trikes. I like this too. Gem. Gem E4. Looks like this is all the, te the test riding area. Four. Long line for the Onyx. Onyx test rides. One of these. Ubco. Yeah. So step through frames so you step okay. right through. Yep. There you go. Uh, so this one, there's, we have two models, an on-road and off-road. This is the off-road. Okay. So it has no dash, but we have a mobile app and you can mount your phone, you have the dash, gotcha. or you can buy the white one, which is the adventure, and it has a whole dash. Okay. It gives you neutral and speedometer or whatever. This is just a stripped down off-road version. Sure. So this one, when you the the uh, on-road has a neutral light. Okay. This one, when it's on, you're in drive. We're trying out the Upgo e-bike, off-terrain, like no pedals. I like the seating position. It's super comfortable. Yeah, they feel great, so let's see how they ride. Okay, my head's trying to go fast with the Onyx. Okay, torque feels pretty good. 
I wonder what the specs are. All I know is this is the most comfortable bike I've ever sat on. Holy cow. I'm sure this thing is expensive. It's a uh, pedalless though, so it's uh, it's just got two pegs. So I wonder how you'd have to get this, uh, how you'd have to register, register and insure. Oh man, I could sit on this all day. The seat and the suspension feel wonderful. The only thing I can't really test is the speed, but torque feels decent. One of the most comfortable bikes I've ever sat on. Mm -hmm. Suspension and just like seating wise. So, so the front forks, the battery management system, the vehicle management system, the hub motor, which is a fifth generation hub motor, is all Upco intellectual property. So okay. you can find that on another bike. Wow. It was made on a dairy farm in New Zealand in 2014. It was through agricultural engineers. Okay. So in, in farming in New Zealand, they have like they just they have uh, free range. The cows roam, uh -huh. and the terrain's pretty gnarly. Okay. So the number one cause of injury in agriculture are ATVs because they flip. Yeah. So the engineers wanted to build something that was safe and quiet so they could get near the animals for farming. So okay. it was built as a utility vehicle, as a work vehicle. Yeah. The frame is 7,000 tons of aluminum. The whole bike without that battery only weighs 101 pounds. Yeah, it feels light. great. That battery is 46 pounds, so 145 pounds all together. The battery is swappable, okay. so it comes right out. Nice. Um, but all that weight is really low center of gravity, so it makes you a really light bike, really yeah. soaks center of gravity. Those hub motors have a thousand watts nominal to get watch peak each. Okay. okay. So you got tons of power, to a build, light build bike. So power to weight ratio, that zero to 30 doesn't feel slow at all, right? Okay. You feel in control because you got that low center of gravity. And then the suspension, it's got a 330 pound payload. Because you can put your surfboard carrier, you can put your camping equipment, you can put your hunting equipment. It's meant as a utility bike. So you can adjust that suspension okay. depending on what you're using the bike for. 75 yeah. lane range, four to six hours charge time. Yeah. 30 mile per hour top speed. What's the price? Is what I'm curious of. Jay Styles is riding the LZR. <laughs> the new Onyx. This is your throttle right here. Yep. I have handbrakes front and back. Okay. Um, really thick tires on this, so you really got to lean into the turns. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's really the only thing that's different. Uh, about this bike that people you know you some Feel. people are not willing to trust you sure. gotta lean whoa this feels weird yeah you gotta lean the tires are so fat trust the lean it feels weird i'm like pushing pushing to make it lean yeah it definitely does not feel like a normal scooter this thing like holds itself up is it self-balancing oh this thing is weird I can't turn okay I think I kind of get it whoa, 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 whoa. this thing I don't know if I like this uh, I mean, I think once I get used to it, it's not bad, but it's like, it's almost like I feel like I'm going to fall off. You have to really push to turn, lean deep. It's, it's really bizarre using this. So it's a self-balancing two-wheeled scooter. That's what, it, that's why I'm able to lean it and trust it. I guess it's kind of like the one wheel, you just have to kind of trust it. It's gonna hold you up. I got it. Look at watch. Oh. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I didn't even know that it was self balancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what was confusing. But, but no, it's more the wide tire, you really gotta lean into it. Yeah, that's what that was throwing me off. But I, once, once you get it, you kind of yeah, get the hang of it. Once you get it, right? But it's a, it's a weird feeling, but it's, it's, it's cool, it's fun. Self balancing. Cost speed.
I like this. I think I'd get this for Spencer. Cover one. Try to get to learn a uh, wheel bike.